So some of uh, what is here shows other events that were taking place and happening in the community. One of the earliest is actually from Club 70, which actually was opened in, in 1969. In that, in that. And it was the first club that was specifically for gays and lesbians, and it was run by gays and lesbians. And it was a private club, so it only was open on weekends, and it had to have a liquor license every weekend. And then in 1990, the gala decided that it was time to do a parade, as opposed to the, what we were doing before, which was this one-day event in the square kind of affair. Our sense was that it's safer to do it on White Avenue rather than downtown, which really was pretty empty oftentimes on Saturdays and Sundays, but also might cause a little more problems, where White Avenue, we, our feeling was, was much more accepting. And then as we grew, and people started to say we should be going downtown to Churchill Square, you know, we should be going to the center of the city. So um, I'm guessing that, that, that we started to do that, I think, in about 1998-99. We started at uh, Jasper and, and 100, um, 11th Street and then walked down Jasper Avenue and turned up to Churchill Square. And, and ended there. Currently, I'm involved with a group looking specifically at older gays and lesbians and services, uh, rec uh, senior centers and senior housing uh, in terms of appropriateness, training of staff, um, what we need to do in that area. So it's not only young people, we need to do things for people who are older as well as, as part of the, um, the gay and lesbian community. And so that's kind of a new venture. But that's all because the changes that have taken place in LA, you, get, you can you don't have to spend all your time advocating and yelling at these folks and that. You can now get on to some of these other kinds of things. And all of this information will be available forever, we hope. And the videos and everything else will be stored in, in the archives. And we hope to get more.